You now have a repeatable business model that makes you money while you sleep. You have somebody that wakes up that helps with delivery, you have somebody that generates leads, and you have somebody that's taking care of the sales calls so that you don't have to be actively involved in the business for it to continue to grow. Hey there, I'm Dan Martell, serial entrepreneur, investor, and creator of SaaS Academy. In this episode, I'm gonna share with you the drip matrix, okay? It's a quadrant that's gonna help you understand where you should be focusing your time to get more energy and money, okay? For me, it's all about creating value and creating more income so that you have more freedom. See, most entrepreneurs hit what's called the pain line. As they're growing their business, they hit this pain line where more growth means more pain for their life. And I don't know about you, but most people, if I said, here's a knife, you're not gonna push your hand towards the knife, okay? So if growth is here and this is you, you're gonna feel the pain and you're gonna pull back. And what I want to share with you is a different approach to scaling where this is the opposite effect, okay? But I know, you guys are like, what are you talking about? Building a business is hard. Yes, but it doesn't have to be that way. See, what I believe is that when entrepreneurs hit the pain line is they do one of three things. They either sell, stall, or sabotage. Those are the moments where I get the call and they go, Dan, I think I'm gonna sell my company. And I go, why? Da, 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 pain, 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 I wanna sell. Or, you know, I'm like, how's things going? Well, it'd be going great, but I don't have enough leads, but I had this opportunity and it fell through and I'm like, oh, self-sabotage. They literally threw hand grenades of, you know, failed response emails, slow to make a decision. All there's these like five different time assassins that they don't even realize that they're sabotaging their business to grow because they don't want to feel more pain. Okay, it's a deep psychological awareness. Or, they just decide to stall and they go like, I'm just cool being here. Why do I have to grow? I had a friend of mine say that to me once. He said, you know, like, is it okay if I don't wanna grow my business? And I go, well, I'm pretty sure the market is gonna want more from businesses like yours. I think the GDP growth is growing, so the world uh, is growing. And I think your team wants more opportunity. So if you think your team's just gonna decide to like, set up shop with you and not want to grow, well, your best people are probably going to bounce to the other person that can give them a brighter future. So th these options are not viable. But the mistake people make is they, they don't focus on them. And this is what I want to share with you. And this is why it's a drip matrix. But the first principle, this is number one, is you got to focus on you. You are at the center of your business, okay? The decision for an entrepreneur to sell, stall, or sabotage affects the rest of the company. And too often, CEOs, founders of companies, are not selfish. They don't put themselves first. They have a problem in their business, they hire somebody to help somebody else out. They have an issue, they hire somebody to add capacity. My philosophy, which is the core of my new book, The Buy Back, uh, Buy Back Your Time, is you don't hire people to add capacity, you hire people to buy time out of your calendar to free it up, to invest in things that light you up and also makes you more money, okay? Because if you do that, you will push out the pain line. You won't feel the pain and you won't wanna do one of those three things. So that's number one. Number two is you gotta free up your time. As I mentioned, if you don't have the time to invest in skills and learn ways to improve your business because you're too busy doing it, doing it, doing it, then you're never gonna be able to get ahead. That's why the quadrant, the, the, the DRIP matrix, okay, DRIP is an acronym. The bottom quadrant is uh, delegate, right? So you have makes you lots of money and then there's lights you up. So you have things that do not make you money, that do not light you up, that you gotta get off of your plate, okay? And there's only three options there. The delegate is either you delete, defer or delegate, those are the three Ds. So you either delete them, you stop doing them, you renegotiate with people, you defer, renegotiate, push it off in the future, or you delegate. Doing that alone will buy you a bunch of free time. Some of you guys are doing things that you just shouldn't be doing, right? So that's the, the first quadrant. The next one is the replace. Replaces things that make you money, but doesn't light you up, the things that you don't enjoy doing. And there's a process for doing that, but the key is, is you gotta give people ownership. Okay, so that's the replace. The bottom right quadrant is invest. If I free up my time, these are things that light me up, but they don't make me a lot of money. That's why I call them investments. At first, they don't make you a lot of money. 
but things like your skills, your relationships, yourself, yourself being your mindset, right? Like learning the skill to manage a sales team, learning the skill to build a marketing plan, learning the skill to delegate better, to be a better leader, to hire somebody to help you operationalize your business. Those are investments that will eventually produce and that's the P in the drip quadrant. So delegate, replace, invest and produce. Produce is where you wanna be. You wanna be waking up every day and doing things that only you are new, uniquely qualified to do that not only lights you up, but it makes you money. And as much as you can spend, honestly, five, six hours a day just producing, you will create more value for your, your business than you've ever seen possible. So that's number three is you gotta free up your time using the drip matrix. Number three is you gotta use the next higher focuser. So a lot of people that work with me coaching clients when we're implementing this buyback uh, principle from the Buy Back Your Time book, they're always like, well, who do I hire next? Well, there's a, there's a framework I teach called the replacement ladder, okay? And the replacement ladder is focusing on kind of five core functions of your business. But I'm gonna share the first four with you because those are the most important to you. Number one, the first level is admin. Administrative tasks, things that, you know, don't cost a lot to give to somebody else to do and you wouldn't wanna do them anyways. I mean, I don't know about you, but I haven't done financial stuff in a long time because I'd rather pay a bookkeeper to do that stuff. But there's everything from posting on social media to scheduling calls to responding to your inbox to booking hotels and travel stuff. There's just literally things that it's like death by a thousand paper cuts you don't even realize you're doing that's taking five to 10 hours a week and you combine all those things your admin person could literally become a clone for you, giving you an extra 40 hours a week if you do it right. Then you move up and it's delivery. Anytime you're involved, like you can work with a client, you know, if you have a service company, you have a coaching company, or you're like building a software company, you can be the person that does the work that's like super high impact, but everything around that, right? Scheduling your clients, following up, anything delivery, you can hire somebody that dedicated to just that and they own the outcome. So it's admin, then delivery. The next level is marketing. Who wakes up every day to make sure that your business continues to have leads and opportunities? Because if you don't, then you're just gonna have this herky-jerky motion. You're gonna move forward and then slow down. You're gonna build your business up and pipeline and then you're gonna take your foot off the gas because you have more business than you can handle. So you need to have somebody to deal with the marketing. If you're doing that, then you should be on calls and doing a lot of sales opportunities, partnerships, business development, maybe just straight sales. And once you hire somebody that takes over the sales, here's what's magical, okay? So those are the first four out of the five, is that you now have a repeatable business model that makes you money while you sleep. You have somebody that wakes up that helps with delivery, you have somebody that generates leads, and you have somebody that's taking care of the sales calls so that you don't have to be actively involved in the business for it to continue to grow. That is a magical moment. That's why I wrote my book and that's what I want for you more than anything, is to slowly replace yourself, okay? The replacement ladder to get to the top level, which I'm not gonna share here. If you're interested, pre-order my book to check it out, but in there, that's where you feel the flow of business creation, of entrepreneurship that I think is available to all of you. So that is number three. Number four is the most important quadrant, which is the invest quadrant, okay? So a lot of times I, I teach entrepreneurs how to buy back you know, 30, 40 hours out of the week and they're like, hey, this is amazing. I've got systems and I use your camcorder method and we've built growth playbooks and, and everything's coming together. But what do I do with all this free time? Because now I'm feeling lazy. I used to work 100 hours a week. Now I'm kind of only working 25. And I never want to be the person that promotes this kind of like live on the beach, laptop lifestyle, don't put in the effort. I'm about building an empire. My, the subhead of my book is get unstuck, reclaim your freedom and build your empire. I want you to create as an artist, as an entrepreneur to the fullest expression possible for you. To do that, you gotta invest. You gotta spend money on things that light you up but won't immediately show a return. Things like your skills. What skill do you need to acquire, right, to learn to become a better leader, a better hire, a better manager of marketing teams or revenue teams or whatever it is? What skill is gonna unlock your next level of growth because the business won't grow past the growth of the founder and CEO? period, full stop. The business will never grow higher than the growth of the CEO, okay? Then you gotta ask yourself, where can I invest in my relationships? Because at the end of the day, it's who you know, it's not what you know, okay? It's the who, not how. 
And if you don't have a strategy to invest in relationships, in partnerships, in you know serendipitous opportunities, being part of a mastermind, a group, uh, you know whatever it is, and that's a big opportunity. And then finally, just your mindset and yourself, your health, your thoughts, your mindfulness. You know, I talk about you know three ways to increase your joy on a daily basis is a is a gratitude practice, a mindfulness practice, is an empathy practice, right? So so investing in yourself is part of that quadrant. And if you do that, it allows you to keep moving up the ladder and keep producing more. You have more energy to give, okay? That is why the most important quadrant is the investment quadrant. Number five is produce. Top right corner, as I mentioned, things that light you up, that make you money, okay? That absolutely you would do for free, but it just happens to produce a lot of value. For a lot of people, it's, I just wanna spend time with positive, motivated, inspiring people. You know, it doesn't matter if it's their team, it's their product innovation uh, department, it's whatever it is. And for me, if you can just get six hours, right? If first thing in the morning, you can wake up and you can produce for three hours, you know, create, focus with good people, Th that to me is where everybody wished their business was. And maybe when you were small it was, but because you didn't understand how to buy back your time, you didn't understand how the replacement ladder worked, you didn't even understand how to delegate and you're still doing stuff that's just burning away at your time in a day and it's herky-jerky and it's full of just like scattered meetings and you have no structure to your life, then you're like, hey, I've made enough money, I don't wanna do this anymore. Uh, I've got my real estate portfolio. I'm just good with that. I don't want to do it anymore. And I just, I feel sad because what I believe is there are artists out there. Every entrepreneur is an artist and they want to create in the world. They want products to exist. They want problems solved. And their ability to play the game, okay? Because it really is a game, this infinite entrepreneurial game where they don't have to retire from being them because the more they are them, the more they get to create, the effortlessly they get to create. I think that's a beautiful world and that's a world I wanna live in. It's the world that I want to, to encourage you to go after, I want to teach you through the content that I'm sharing with you. The book, it's, it's what I try to model as a person because in that place, you're able to serve way more people, solve way bigger problems than being constrained by your time. And that is the drip matrix. You have to first delegate, then replace, invest, and produce your way to buy back your time so you can create more value and create more energy in your life. So I would love to hear from you below. What was the biggest takeaway for you? If you're interested in supporting my new book, Buy Back Your Time, Get Unstuck, Reclaim Your Freedom and Build Your Empire, click the link to pre-order your copy today. It would mean the world to have your support. If you have any other ideas, feel free to email me directly. I'm super uh, grateful for your time, your energy, your support over the years. And I hope this video finds you incredibly well. I wanna challenge you as per usual to live a bigger life and a bigger business. And I'll see you next Monday.